Hello everyone. How often has something like this happened to you? You're debating with your friend about a topic that you both are passionate about. You bring up a piece of information, let's say a scientific study that was published from an established research journal, that proves their point wrong. While you feel that this is an absolute fact that cannot be disputed, your friend disputes the study and chooses not to believe it. Your friend might even shut down the conversation and choose not to debate anymore. Why did this happen? Your friend is scientifically minded and would normally consider a research journal to be a valid source of truth. So why are they resistant to changing their belief about this topic when faced with this factual piece of information? Cognitive dissonance. Cognitive dissonance is when a person is made aware that they hold conflicting beliefs or when their beliefs contradict their behaviors. In this case, your friend's belief about the topic you guys are debating and his belief in the truthfulness in the scientific journal you are quoting from is showing inconsistency in his belief since they are not the same. This is creating a lot of discomfort for him since humans have a need to be consistent. However, in order for cognitive dissonance to truly occur, a person has to be made aware of the dissonance. For example, a physical trainer who cares about their health could be buying unhealthy cereal for years without feeling dissonance. But once someone points out that their favorite cereal has tons of sugar in it and contradicts their healthy lifestyle, the dissonance presents itself. The trainer's behavior, buying the unhealthy cereal, and belief that he wants to live a healthy lifestyle, are inconsistent. Not all instances of cognitive dissonance have the same impact on an individual. How personal a belief is, how highly valued a belief is, and how large the disparity is between the conflicting beliefs or behaviors all play a role in the amount of discomfort people feel during cognitive dissonance. Trivial beliefs, such as what number Scottie Pippen wore during his time as a Chicago Bull, will not create that much discomfort and can be easily resolved. However, much more highly valued beliefs, such as political opinions, will create much more discomfort since they conflict with a person's identity, making them more complicated to resolve. And that's really what's interesting about cognitive dissonance. It isn't so much the dissonance itself, but how people resolve it. It can be an opportunity for growth, or it can be an opportunity to obscure reality. When confronted with inconsistent behaviors and or beliefs, there are a few ways a person might react. They might choose to seek out new information to help reduce the dissonant belief. They might flat out reject the dissonant belief. They might avoid engaging with the belief or behavior. Or they might change their beliefs or behaviors so that they are consistent. In reality, there is no single way for someone to resolve their dissonance, but they will to remain in a state of consistency. Humans love to be consistent and won't stay in a state of inconsistency for long. It's the journey each individual takes to get back to consistency that's interesting. You can see this everywhere in the world around you. Let's say an environmentally conscious person just buys a new car without doing too much research. After she buys the car, she realizes that the car isn't very fuel efficient and, therefore, is not very good for the environment. The conflict in her brain is that she is an environmentally friendly person, but she has an environmentally unfriendly car. Certainly, an environmentally friendly person wouldn't buy an environmentally unfriendly car. So what does she do? Does she sell the car and get another car that is more fuel efficient? Does she minimize her green lifestyle? Does she choose not to believe her car is environmentally unfriendly? Does she compensate for her car being environmentally unfriendly by convincing herself that she makes so many green lifestyle choices that those will offset this purchase? She needs a strategy to get back to consistency. Or let's say someone gets a very high paying job with a great job title at a tobacco company. This individual believes that he is a good person with good morals, but he also understands that the company he's working for provides a product that he believes causes serious harm to those who use it. He is in a state of dissonance. Do good people sell harmful products? Would he be a good person if he helped sell products that he believes are dangerous? To resolve this dissonance, he might search for information that supports the theory that tobacco products aren't that bad. He might convince himself that the job he is specifically doing isn't directly harming anybody, as it's just a corporate job and he isn't personally selling the product. He might avoid conversations surrounding his work so as not to face his dissonance. Or he might quit his job and find a new job that sells products that he believes are good for society. The point is, it's not so much whether he is objectively a good person for working at a tobacco company, but rather whether the product he is selling aligns with how he perceives himself. In order to remain consistent, his belief about the product or his behavior by taking the job has to change. While it can happen, it's unlikely that his belief about himself being a good person will change to reach equilibrium. To piggyback off that last example, it is worth noting here that sometimes people can get stuck in dissonance that have mental health implications. For example, if someone told a lie to someone they cared about but also believed that lying is bad, they might end up in a spiral and believe that they are a bad person. This can be a key belief to try to break in a therapy session. The belief that they are a bad person because they did an action that they perceive as bad is an unhelpful thought to have and can be self-destructive. With therapy, a psychologist can help break down these beliefs into something more intricate. 
The psychologist might start with the belief that they are a bad person and try to change the belief of the behavior, that all lying is bad. Once the belief is present that not all lying is bad, eventually, with some help, they might believe that they are a good person that just made a mistake. The notion that we are good people with correct beliefs is a critical part of the human experience. However, it can be our biggest blunder when it comes to looking at things from other perspectives and growing as people. Sometimes we're wrong. Sometimes we make decisions or believe things that we thought were right but end up not being so. What's important to understand is that this doesn't make us wrong people with wrong intentions or beliefs. We can use new beliefs and behaviors that contradict our current beliefs and behaviors to develop as individuals and change our notions about how the world works and how we should live in it. I think the best way to deal with cognitive dissonance in our lives is to keep an open mind for new information and be willing to change our actions if they need to be changed. This alone can help us better understand each other and grow as a society. So next time you find yourself in a state of cognitive dissonance, think about how you want to get out of it. That alone might help you grow as a person. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.